Chris amounts of damage to towers, that was addressed, uh, but they still do actually a lot of damage to Roche, so I think he could be right, because there is a little bit of a damage type on those. So we'll head into game here for game number two. Fnatic do take down Beast Coast in game one after some hotly contested mid-game fights give them the space, the time, the items that they need. Yep. Beast Coast, pardon me, a little bit of a different draft now, but um, still looking to probably fight, still looking to fulfill their core mission, which is get Hector some farm. Yeah, and if you want to like just quickly like speak about the Beast Coast draft again, is this is more in their style, right? Like their old school style, Hector on a Medusa, like a farming hero, like that with clear timings, and the rest of the team just fighting together, like just uh, using Rolling Thunder, using uh, Ghost Ship, and just going four and five, and then when Hector is done farming, he'll he'll join up. Mid lane, see smiling Armel exchanging a, a couple of auto attacks. That's some high fives as well. Uh, but Armel, of course, one of these mid laners that is just nearly impossible to beat uh, to the mid lane awarding race, you know. Puck with a loose red bubble is just usually just way too fast. And you can see that ward on the high ground there for Fnatic. Yeah, ready. But it's looking like two runes two apiece. No, no real skirmishing here too early. Yeah, and we should also look out for DJ on this tiny. Like he's very, very cheesy with this hero. Like he knows a lot of tricks. Like a lot of like, and usually Fnatic games go quite late, right? So he will hit that level twenty, and he will toss you up on cliffs. So mm -hmm. we might see uh, already. Hector is taking some harass here, but yeah. we might we might find out if this game goes forty minutes in. Hector sitting on a cliff while his team gets wiped out. <laughs> uh, that could be something. I'm sure, uh, Beast Coast could be looking to aff avoid that. Uh, but yeah, good points, right? Lots of uh, fun plays you can get to make on the Tiny. Uh, he's starting, of course, with these brown boots. Singer, though, eager to trade, has Sidekick already taken. And uh, at least will make his life a bit easier as he's contesting creeps. Heck, ah, I don't, I don't know about this skill, skill and Sidekick level 1. I uh, guess it's okay. It's just a very long cooldown. Yeah. DJ pulling the wave? All right. Blocking the easy camp here. Uh, the hard camp did spawn. Stinger didn't block it. It does have a, a, an observer, but so you don't use the obs to block. Careful though. Uh, a little bit of damage. Jabs is coming over. He's got he's got anchor swing, as you call it. <laughs> of course, but sticking here in CS and making the trades less efficient for Stinger. Now, so basically in this lane, just if you can get tied onto to level three, if he goes for like the safe build, right, like two in Kraken shell, it's uh, very hard to stop him from farming. And then DJ is kind of free to do whatever. You can try to run mid, gank this Kunkka. Or you can just keep sitting down here and helping out. Yeah, making uh, Ector start worse and worse, right? As Ector will pull a couple creeps under tower. Harder to CS for the do. So that's usually how you, you manage to beat her. Pretty bad animation, very slow projectile. Base damage is a bit weaker, right, in these early levels. You, you mess with creep at Glover even, she, she is not generally too happy. Yeah, no, for sure. At least Whisper is doing good. Uh, yeah, I don't think this matchup is too hard for Pango. Can be a, get a bit more difficult later. Like if Raven ever gets to... Okay, he didn't even skill Meld. So some people just try to harass with Meld, but... Raven is going for the little safer builds. Just more damage. More damage. You start farming the jungle a little bit easier as well, with more and more points in those side blades. Uh, and as a carry, right, you're, you're not expected to be able to, to join fights early on anyway. So even just that casual, you know, uh, what is it, value point, right, into the meld for harassing. Eh, doesn't want to go for it. Yeah. Jira doing what he can here. This this Shaman, one of the support heroes uh, with higher base damage, you know, uh, able to harass usually quite effectively against Johnny Well. It's gonna, he's going to find that's a bit harder. Because uh, he's always got this Frost Armor. Of course, the attack speed slow and move speed slow on Frost Blast. Quite punishing, as you can see. Yeah. With Gojira getting the worst of that trade. Overall, I think Armel is doing really well mid there. Uh, not really well. He's, he's, uh, he's holding up so far. I think the, the lane starts getting the most difficult once Kunk is level 5. And this Tidebringer splash is like... Uh, the, the AoE is quite big at that point. Nice play there by DJ. See, Smile has lost his courier. I think that was just early on in the skirmishing. And DJ rotates away from the lane for a while to deny the bounty rune. By picking it up, he didn't really deny it. But he denies the bottle refill there of C Smile, uh, who wasted a little bit of time. Maybe missed a couple of creeps in the mid lane. But it's first oh, blood up top. 
where they do get Gojira, eventually the Shaman. He's a hero that needs to get in close to do some damage, and that's where Raven does plenty of damage. And with that value point in the meld, we'll take down the Shaman for first blood. Yeah. Oh, he has no boots, right? 285 movement speed. So you put the Frost Shield on Templar and gonna just chase him down. Jab's bottom, but I don't know. This is a bit who's, hard. Who's killing who? There's going to be a Mystic Snake in a second, but he's actually, with the Mana Shield up, he's lost the mana he needed to cast it. They've lost vision, but the tree volley there, the tree toss already uh, from DJ picks up the kill. Singer trying to fight his way through this one and will outfight that anchor swing debuff. Yeah. Uh, maybe even going for DJ, but they do lose, of course, Ector first in that trade, so it's going to be a little bit stinging here for Beast Coast. Yeah, and almost a full wave denied there to the Chris. Ah, Stinger is picking up a lot on net worth there, though. He's quite happy. Level 3, almost up to level 4. Smile eventually able to get uh, a little bit more uh, uh, value out of that bottle. It's TJ with a little avalanche is going to disengage from what was otherwise a little bit of a scary bottom lane. Yep. A minute oh, away. I, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 no. You, you go, you go. I was going to say, we're about a minute away from Power Rune, so I'm always looking for DJ to, to look to rotate mid. Maybe as well if Gojira can rotate, but. He's very keen to continue fighting this Lich up top. We'll eventually need to maybe assist his Kunkka just to make sure that uh, this DJ rotation doesn't end up ruining him. Yep. Yeah. Uh, DJ's ready to set up mid here. Kunkka is... Yeah, yeah two-thirds HP. Yeah. But, St but Stinger comes here. He's ghost. They don't have a ward. Oh, now they have that ward in the mid lane. Might have been scouted as DJ... Did hit, get his ward down early. Three points now in Illusory Orb. There's going to be the Silence on in. Nice Silence as well to miss time that Torrent Toss. Stinger, though, still does end up getting a nice stun on a DJ, and that'll be a kill for C. Smile. Both supports yep. likely to TP back mid here and refill the bottles. So we'll get some more fighting. That is unless C. Smile, okay, I mean, he has got <laughs> boat. So I thought he was going to make a play. Just a Torrent getting tossed up. Not going to find yep. Armel with that one. Yeah, let's see, yeah, yeah, TPing back mid here with the tiny, as you said. Going top. Yeah, Gojira oh, dying Gojira, again. Though. Yeah, there's a little bit of damage block, but only for Whisper. The move speed slow, not enough. As the support's back to mid lane, refilling the bottles, and it's a regen. Regen, yeah. Now. That's huge. <laughs> Just a little little disposed, forcing out the illusory orb. Okay, are they uh, gonna go, go for this here? They're gonna try. There is one point here in the phase shift. Oh, trying to time that perfectly with C Smile, but unfortunately cannot. The oh, rebound, though, here. now setting up for the boat. Armel does hit the illusory orb still off. So the boat's also gonna miss. It's the Armel show right here. He's just sidestepping all these skills. Yeah, very nice. Mm, yeah, they can't, can't, cannot do anything more here. And bottom lane, Medusa is just trying to farm the best she can versus Tidehunter. Uh, they should DJ. both do okay here. As well, being really annoying, he's going to be able to pick up both bounty runes that spawn in the jungle. Uh, without really, I mean, it's it's a Jab's uh, Tidehunter, right? He's he's most likely going to be okay now that he's up to level 6. Has yeah. his uh, Morbid Mask going straight into that Vlad's offering. I think even without boots, if I'm seeing this right. No, he's got boots. Nah, he's now. got boots. Yeah, okay. he'll go for the, what is it, face boots. Yep. And he's boots first. Okay, so now I think the lane for Raven is really nice. Like, he pushes it out fast. He's got traps to place. Boots, if I'm seeing this right. No, he's got boots. Nah, he's now. got boots. Yeah, okay. he'll go for the, what is it, face boots. Yep. And he's boots first. Okay, so now I think the lane for Raven is really nice. Like, he pushes it out fast. He's got traps to place down if he wants to, to, like, scout it out. So, like, any rotation is probably going to get caught out. It's going to require smoke play. All right. Uh, speaking uh, of a smoke. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. There they go. Me sneaking past this Beast Coast towards DJ. His smoke will break first. Hector uh, does not seem aware of this, but yeah, nice. Uh, Very nice play by Stinger, right? Mm -hmm. Really great positioning. Oh, DJ knew there was someone there. Oh, but the coil still committed here. Stinger happy to take a death. Uh, happy to take a death, I should say, uh, for his core. As there's, you know, the, the power of the DJ. Tiny, even these small efficient plays, right? A toss to break a coil is going to collect a kill. Yeah. I'm good. Oh. Okay, Armel just absorbing some experience. There's a couple stacks here as well. Looks like DJ is going to triple stack his hard camp. The Ancient stacked already once. In the jungle, I also see John Well stacking over on the Dire side, where he's made a few of these for the Templar Assassin. Yeah. So, lots of farming to be done here. No, Fnatic, Fnatic have stacked uh, quite a bit better so far. Okay, they're trying to go on Tide, but don't see this guy dying. Very tanky. 
Yep, just a bit of damage and harass, maybe trying to force out. Well, I think he's unlikely to get that spooked and use an ultimate, but trying to force out a little bit of inefficiency. There's a good scout there by Armel. Saw the arm go up, and he knew what that meant, I think, smile. Yeah. Maybe avoids a death as Gojira was lurking nearby. Once again, though, Armel and DJ joining forces. They're going to head into the bottom lane. This time without a smoke, however, they're going to be picked up by the ward. And this one shouldn't get uh, a kill here onto anyone. Hector nukes the wave. He's also underneath a, a very aggressive lane ward. Yeah. Uh, hiding in the trees here. But DJ uh, and the rest of Fnatic do know where he is. Yeah, you, but you don't, you don't want to leave the lane here as Medusa. So you're just telling your team, like, you guys better TP if they die. I mean, <laughs> like, I expect nothing less. I think uh, Ector certainly has uh, got the loyalty uh, of the Beast Coast guys to to expect that to be done, to be honest. Shouldn't be much of a, a problem. I don't think Beast Coast would hesitate. Going on like, mid-air. Well, uh, Gojira does get off a Hex, has Shackles, but Silent Stuff can't use them versus Armel, who thinks about turning, does get the haste rune off. The boat incoming into the torrent, perfectly timed, but then an avalanche from DJ prevents a couple yep. of crucial right clicks from coming through. Armel speeds away with the haste. Yeah. yeah. Very nice by DJ there. And he also had the Frost Shield on him, right? So mm -hmm. a little bit of reduced damage at least. True. Yeah, you're right. I think even if they all get off on auto attack, perhaps they still do not kill them. But a good save all the same. As now Beast Coast. Okay, Whisper is moving in here. Probably, yeah, only stealing a few creeps. Still a right? couple of them. Still a couple of them. A slightly annoying and experience shared by lots of heroes. As into the triangle goes Stinger, he's going to see DJ stacking and also scouts with the mega stacks right now uh, oh, in this Fnatic yeah. triangle. See Smile, really, he wants that, but yeah, I don't know. Does. There's a tide hunter with Ravage oh, just nice lurking toss. behind you. DJ tossed him back to the furthest back creep, so actually Stinger took a fair amount of damage. But here goes Armel. Here no coil, though, for 15 Jabs. more seconds. Johnny Well is coming in. A little bit of too. Jabs Big team fight. gets off the Ravage, but it's against uh, a hero here that was already Magic Moon in the Rolling Thunder. See Smile worse for wear, though, because the Ravage Ravage does distract the rest of his team. They can't reinforce C Smile in the triangle, so Armel is going to eventually be rewarded with the kill there. Whisper. He's trying to bait jabs up to high ground. <laughs> I guess it does, but a bit hard for him to get a kill. Rebound in. Does actually connect here onto, onto John Well. Oh, hey, Shane Frost, in the area, and there is a chain frost ready. So Whisper, he's got to keep his spacing, and jabs lurking from behind is going to ensure that there's no more follow up from Beast Coast. Yeah. Uh, okay, so during that time, at least, because I, I was going to mention that Medusa was a little too far behind for my liking, but during that fight, he got to catch up a bit at least. Uh, so it's only 1k gold behind the Templar. Templar is farming a, quite a big ancient stack right now, though, so he'll, he'll keep ahead. Yep. See, Smile contested it, wanted to get it, I think got maybe most of that hard camp stack, yeah. but does pay for it with his life. Yeah. Right now, there's no real stacks operating in the jungle of Beast Ghost, at least not in the triangle. Oh, there's a little one near the mid camp, but nothing too major. So Fnatic certainly able to free up their supports a bit uh, more. They're looking for, for Stinger stacks. in the bottom lane here. Okay, who's tipping in? Whisper is coming. Yeah, Maybe Whisper. they can kill this Lich here. I don't know. Anchor swing, Stinger. We're looking towards where he's going to assist with the rebound as Whisper now. With the rolling thunder, John Well and Jabs, unfortunately, they jump into each other there, trying to maybe split and confuse Whisper. Oh, Whisper? They, but they're chasing him. Armel is here. Oh, oh very nice. It missed. And again, this is that one ward that's going to expire here on the cliff yeah. uh, that does alert Whisper to all those enemies rotating over. Okay, Gojira drops the ward stop, but DJ is up here. Yeah, and so is Jabs now. Gojira likely to die. DJ as well. He's grown. So he's got that armor. And of course, lots of damage now. Boat incoming, though, is going to give some HP here to Gojira on the damage resist. He can even tank tower a bit, but no, there's going to be the anchor smash and, and a fortify as well. That should allow them to clean up these serpent wards defend the tower a bit longer. Down bottom, of course, they do clean up and get that tower, but Whisper and Stinger still nearby are going to be able to safely get out. Yeah. So the positive thing for Beast Coast here, like everything they did did not quite work out. No tower. Uh, they lost Gojira. But at least uh, Hector is farming. And uh, he's kind of keeping pace with the top guys on Fnatic here. And something that feels pretty nice uh, for this Jabs Tidehunter is, you know, Tide, this hero that can kind of sit in front of towers and just be tanky and clear wave after wave. And when your push is not as good uh, like it is for Beast Coast, eventually the Dusa will push with items, but obviously she's not there yet. Yeah. Um, he's very effective here, even without Ravage. Now he has it, but by the time he TP'd here uh, initially, he didn't have Ravage, and he just doesn't care for any of the damage that Beast Ghost have for him. So he's yeah. finding a lot of utility on this Tide. Oh, for sure. 
Uh, yeah, I think the only way they kill him is with the... They have an X mark on him, and then the Rasta Wars there is beating him up. Yep. But that's uh, quite a lot to commit. Witchblade is being fetched to Armel now in his courier. That's going to be a, a lot more damage output here for him. And of course that bonus armor, which maybe makes a little bit of a difference here for him too. I think int heroes for the longest time were always craving uh, some sort of item that was buildable for them that gave them armor. Remember when everyone was going like, uh, what is it, a blade mail? That one blade mail had, I think, yeah. uh, the, the robe in there. You know? I think it was a time where face boots was popular too. Uh, like go on every, every intelligence mid hero. Radiance top tower is for now, though, of course, Witchblade seems to be quite popular among the, the Void Spirits. Uh, sometimes Pat Riders as well, picking them up. Radiant are scanning. See, though, Beast Ghost smoking around through their jungle. Are going to be able to at least get some good D-Wards up. The jump's a little early there. <laughs> Mini rebound from Stinger. Shouldn't really change the outcome yeah. of this. They're also going to scout a stack mid-progress. So Stinger, with the rest of the Unleash, is going to look to farm those up alongside C Smile. Raven. Nice. Sorry, I make that Armel. He's gonna yeah, they're pinging him out, right? Rune. Pinging yeah. out Hector. They're gonna go for him. Fanatic, they, they're not falling for Plenty of time the... to defend him here, yeah. Yeah, nice. TP's coming in. Good job by Beast Coast, recognizing the threats of their core. I was gonna say Fnatic not falling for the, the common trap, right, that Beast Coast <laughs> enemies usually do, at least in SA, right? To try and uh, try and fight into the four-man, uh, you know, rotation into your triangle, contest the Oh, but Fnatic just wanna run into them here. And this is going to allow them they to sneak past a ward. Can they what rush are they doing? No, I feel... Okay, they want to kill. They want to kill first, I believe. Yeah. And they have so jabs. Hector's feeling... So everyone TP'd, but then they ran away. So no TP's. Every TP's on yeah. cooldown. He's in the trees, scouted out. There's a Ravage if Jabs needs to use it. He might actually to prevent the Stone Gaze from coming through. That he does. DJ with the toss, continuing the CC. And with five heroes surrounding the Medusa, they will slay the Gorgon. It's no Ravage, though. And now mid lane Jabs. He's very keen to try and defend this. Once again, two of two Serpent Wards. Looks like it's going to be pretty cleanly defended. And even now, Armel looking to fight. He's oh. popped the Arcane Rune, showing up to the first big engagement now with a Witchblade. Yep. They do stop that Rolling Thunder at mid-progress. Jabs low for mana, but it's still Armel who is cl just cleaning up. The reduced cooldowns here are just too much for Beast Ghost to work with right now. Yeah, Fnatic is starting to run them over. And uh, dealing with this Tide Hunter seems to be it's just too hard. They don't have the heroes to kill him right now. Really? Oh, he's going for a Yule Scepter, even, actually, on this Tide Hunter. I think that's mostly for X Mark, I would imagine. Yeah. Not for sure. I mean, and it uh, helps him cancel Teepus, too. I mean, they True. gave him this new Aghanim Shard, but yeah. I don't know. Every time I built that, I, I feel so sad. Really? Yeah. Uh, See, smile. All right, he's going to get out of there. Ah, yeah, that's curious. I always thought it was really strong, if I'm being honest. I guess it's it does feel like a little bit of a win more item. It doesn't really... I mean, I guess it gives you maybe a, a TP cancel every now and then. See, smile. Let's bottle here, up the that The Yules is good here, though. Taste it. Cannot taste away. Yeah, and he's going to be caught with a little chain frost and Stinger jumping in to give it a bounce. That's going to be a quick kill onto the Captain Kunkka. The boat will not save him, and Stinger as well. The rum not nearly strong enough for him. Yeah, this game is just spiraling totally, completely out of control. I didn't know Roche would aggro to this Frost uh, Ice Fire. Yeah, that's, I guess uh, that's really strong, actually. I yeah. guess that's the same as the Rasta Wars now, right? Yeah. So they made them, they made Roche like kind of focus them. So, yeah. and that carried over to the Ice Fire. True. Fire. No, you're totally right. The same way he tries to focus down Tombstone, but of course it just spawns too many zombies. Yeah. Poor Roche, man. It, he needs to, they need to buff his intelligence a little bit, I think. Wait, he's just standing there. Come on, Pi. <laughs> this is cruelty. Fight back. Come on, brother. <laughs> Uh, tower is going to be denied in the mid lane. I think they also denied the top tier one tower here as well for Fnatic, so not a not a great feeling for Beast Coast as they do miss out on those two bounties, and Gojira likely to die as well as he looks to farm up his Blink Dagger in the top lane. Raven is going to slow him here with the traps. He's going to need to try and juke around here through the trees. A very difficult task now. He's actually just out of range, though, <laughs> of that Frost Shield. He's going to place down the Serpent Wards. Shouty well. Uh, they need to break him out. He's oh, going to TP away uh, in time. Yes, yeah. he is. And now Raven he might even get to farm these in a little bit. But mid lane, is, that's where the fight is, as Ector is going to pop the Stone Gaze. They've already lost Whisper, though. Looking for Jabs, who has Ravage, but not enough mana. Doesn't have a Soul Ring here. And Darmel, uh, well, without Dream Coil, unlikely to turn. Jabs is going to go ahead and release that. That Ravage, the boat and the shark and the torrent all still connect, but he's still oh, alive until the rebound of Stinger cuts him down. See, Smile, he's been clipped though. Yeah, How there we did go. he end up here? Uh, so, okay, we'll see if, yeah, he's uh. dead here. No, so uh, Armel 
the Lucianary orbs up there, right? Or blinks up, and then DJ tosses. Oh. Like, DJ is very aware of all these tosses <laughs> up on cliffs. There he goes. The king of the cliff, left high and dry and marooned and dead, is Captain Kunkka. A painful moment for him. Yeah. Uh, Beast Ghost, though, still with an Observer Ward in the mid lane, keen to fight as Whisper. Yeah, he's going to be able to shrug off that uh, Chain Frost. No problem. The bounce is DJ with a save, but Hector is here to collect the kill. And now, actually, yeah, Raven no in a bit of an awkward beat. spot might be set to lose his Aegis. Still has a second life, but it's a huge avalanche from DJ that is going to get him out. No, until Stinger makes that second jump in with the rebound, finds okay. the stun, and that's a kill. There's uh, no stone gaze for 20 seconds. Armel has Coil coming off cooldown in five seconds. It take a lot of damage there from Whisper's Diffusal Blade, oh, but they no. still have more than enough to get through him. And now with the Desso and the Mel Strike, Raven strikes back here on the second life, takes down two. Yeah. Uh, no, so right now Beast Coast are barely hanging on. Because uh, right now you, you get the feeling that it's like a, a Divine Rapier Dusa game. Like that's the, the way. It's not quite that bad yet, but it's getting there. Because like, I, I just don't see, it's so uh, hard for him to win fights, right? This Tide Hunter is just... Oh, you got to see what happened? No, no the, the, uh, almost, right? We got to see those last moments in, in DJ, of course, with a smile and a smirk, yeah. uh, who is laughing away at that. Yeah, he'll be happy with that one. I think uh, this, what's incredible as well to me, Pi, is that DJ, he's been making all these plays. I feel like I'm always saying his name. He's always making some really great play in the midst of these fights. He's done it all without Blink Dagger. Now he's got Blink Online. Yep. Dude, just wait oh, until he hits level did 20. Did he just steal a specialist array? Was that, or was that theirs? Uh, not sure. That was Beast Coast. They've lost their specialty array. Not the oh. biggest deal in the world. Yeah. But Decent stats, but... Radiance Courier has been killed. Uh, it's going to be Beast Coast without that one for them. I suppose it kind of feels nice for Adusa, but she probably would rather hold on to the Ring of Aquila. Yeah. ED, ED spawn stop. Fnatic, they're going to scout this one. Beast Coast as well do see it, so they're going to send the Dusa Manto Lucia to try and deny it. Oh, we oh got and it. they do get to the deny yeah. off. Well played. I mean, so what I'm guessing, all right, Roche still still quite far away from respawning. So they want to finish the Skadi here on Dusa. Uh, that's always been the timing for Hector. It's just uh, they've been bleeding a little too much, right? Already down 9k gold. Yeah, but, and the net worth lead between him and Raven now has extended to 4k, which is a full BKB for Raven. Yeah. Um, doesn't really help him so much in the, in the 1v1 versus the Medusa, of course. It's not so relevant. But against the rest of his team, especially this Kunkka, it frees up Raven to do a lot more damage in these fights. Yeah. No, so Beast Coast need to keep the, the, the lead can't grow bigger than this. And then they have their chance there when they get uh, Skadi and Dusa to have a fight. Like they, as you said, even though uh, Raven is ahead of an item, like, Dusa with Skadi might just be strong enough. Exactly. Yep. You get to dispel it once, and I think there's no Manta, right? Yeah, no Manta on the TA, just building into damage with Chrysalis and Desso in the quick buy. Uh, but, uh, sorry, Chrysalis and, and Daedalus is what I meant. He was already got the Desso. But uh, yeah, you, you do reapply that Scotty every single attack, right? So uh, yeah. that, that's where it becomes difficult, even if you do have a Dispel or two at your disposal. They are smoking down bottom where C-Smile is farming what I like to name Can the Camp of Death. Uh -huh. Can he BKB in time? Unlikely. Beautiful toss back there to snap the coil from DJ. Uh, that is a kill swiftly as that. Beast goes, they are going to have to stop that smoke. Uh, they smoked both their supports, maybe trying to find something, but uh, it's instead only the corpse of Kukka will find. Yeah. And even the lifeline here of Skad is looking, it's still looking difficult. Because if you click uh, Jab Syrian, yeah, I just saw that too. Heaven's Halberd, Yule Scepter, uh, him in the front there, it's, it might just be too much. But I mean, it's still their their best hope here. Of course, just, uh, finish the Skad and then fight for the Roche. Fight for their fight for their lives here right now in this series. Of course, Fnatic up one zero. Fnatic coming off of a draw versus Secret, which I think they can be very proud of here. Uh, maybe helping them, giving them a, a bit of wind in their sails. Yeah. It's uh, already Raven here looking to siege a, a tier two down bottom. Got lots of heroes behind him to support him. So unlikely for Beast Ghost to defend against this. Yeah. Uh, K1 just rushing up there to their jungle, trying to get whatever farm he can. They've got this lane ward. They may have scattered him going to the jungle. I'm not 100% sure. No, no, he came from the river, so... Okay, okay, he came from the river then. That's what I wasn't sure about. We'll show himself on this wave here, but he just, he really needs gold. He's only got one of the ultimate orbs he needs, and now he might show on this ward. We'll see Insta if the Fnatic... <laughs> yeah, well, I was going to say, we'll see if they res respond to this, and uh, of course they do. Finger's also in the area here. Might look for, yeah, just a couple of D wards. He looks like he should evade death. 
That is current uh, heading. Singer, sorry, make that actor is. Uh, well, where has he gone? He's back and he TP'd into the base. Yeah. Oh, just uh, waiting and praying. The Jira with a blink dagger. It's not necessarily the newest, but this is going to be uh, maybe a little bit more impactful, able to find a hex uh, onto this puck. It's it's used to be the biggest counter, right? Oh, wait, whatever. look at Stinger here. He's ready to snipe some couriers. He's got nothing to rebound off of, though, so he kind of needs to, to head it correctly in his direction. Oh, he's, he's running. He's, he's, he's in there. That's a Kaya. Yeah, that is a full Kaya. You're right. Oh, and if he got the next one, that would have been a gem. <laughs> oh, that's... A scary moment there for Fanatic. Yeah. So who, whose gem is this? It's the Lich's gem. He's probably oh, gonna give they it to found Nick, but... but they did, and the Ravage now. Oh, and Raven get a free to pump in the damage. Does get off that stone gaze. Now the counter initiation. The stun's gonna catch two. They've actually even turned Raven to stone before he get the BKB off. And he does BKB some damage and he pumped in from range. Well, the coil on to three. Oh no, Whisper trying to protect him with the Rolling Thunder. The coil snaps though. And Dusa trapped inside the snakes with Raven and Jabs. Down he will go. Oh, and DJ does pay with that one for his life, but a beautiful fight there for Fnatic. So they find the Dusa farming in a side camp and take her down. Yeah, so it's a nice situation like that. If he has, uh, if he has Scotty finished, I, I believe they win that fight, but... Fnatic no, of course. They click him, they see no Skadi, so they go for those type of plays. Radiant are scanning. Yeah, and, you know, Dusa is, she's kind of this uh, this hero where you just A-click the ground in fights and, and hope for the best, but Fnatic doing a really good job to make sure that Actor is either running for his life or otherwise stunned or flying through the air. Uh, and he, his damage input in that fight is, is relatively minimal. Uh, basically nothing here. You can see how quickly they were uh, to shut yeah. him down, and, and they really wanted to stop that stone gaze from coming. Yeah, but so I think he has a choice here. Yeah, he can. he could just have run, run away, like just saved himself, but it turns there and fights a little bit, and then... Because he doesn't expect this, that Fnatic, they don't care. They're, they're going to go even deeper. And you see here the beautiful toss by DJ. Breaking the coil and finishing off the Medusa. Oh, because oh, he... <laughs> Is that, is that him? <laughs> yeah, that's actually yeah. uh, That's the when you get tossed moment. Yeah. Ooh. When you get tossed, he's like, Ah, I got off my stone gate. Yeah. You shall... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, the dream coil. This DJ Tiny, he's a problem. Fanatic's opponents here, and certainly for Beast Kills in this match. Some pitiful attack speed with level 2 grow, but that's fine. He's all about the tosses. <laughs> exactly. Showing mid, Gojira. With Blake, Ooh, maybe looking for a hex. He smile is scouted. That's going to be the torrent on the way in, which actually does find a stun here on a Johnny Well, They don't snap the coil. Ooh, smile nice hex, though. BKB. There's going to be the hex. Gojira with patience. Oh. No. Oh, they can't quite connect the rolling thunderstone onto him in time. And now C smile. He's going to die. Raven showing up to the fight now for his 11th kill this match. Gojira with another stun, but that's a fast chicken here, Pi. Uh oh. Raven. Yeah. Sorry, that's Jabs that time getting the kill onto Gojira. Yeah. I mean, luckily for Beast Coast, Roche is not up yet, but oh, unluckily fun. for them, they just died with a couple of heroes, and yeah, that's no good. BKB as well popped, such as uh, the long Roche time. It's one of the longest I've seen. I think maybe this is max Roche uh, spawn time of an extra three minutes. It means that they'll have their ultis and they'll have their BKBs up again, but of course, for Beast Coast, they have no way to be sure if Fnatic, you know, if they're not on the map, if they're doing Roche, and well... Yeah. That's a great jump there. Okay, Heaven's Halberd at least onto Raven. There's still lots of magic damage coming through. And now there's the Eye of Scotty here for Hector. This is the fight to reveal it. But a Ravage catches three with the Chain Frost bouncing around. It collects the kill onto Whisper. Hector now, he's completely isolated. DJ with the toss, toss. back. What Ooh, an amazing toss. Where has he gone? The rebound, actually. Hector, it puts him back, nearly back onto the high ground. But he's out of mana, has no Stone Gaze. Trying to support him here is Chris Luck. But the Meld strikes, it's just too much. John Well with the kill credit there onto yeah. Hector. But it's C Smile who takes a very quick second death as soon as he respawns without a BKB. And Fnatic without second Roche will go onto the high ground and start taking down some buildings. Yeah, they, they might just call it there. Oh, tough game, tough game. Uh, so maybe, maybe they'll. Yeah, it looks like they'll try for one more fight there. Because uh, they don't feel like they've gotten, gotten an honest shake, you know. But at this point, you're 20, 20k gold down. It's not easy. Fnatic, you know, they're, they're likely to immediately back up and look to do Roche, who is almost guaranteed to be spawned by this stage. He's, there he is, responding in six seconds. Second Roche with the uh, Aegis and Axe shard. 
Let's see if they're so gonna go. East Coast, you know, they might look to fight there, right? Because there is gonna be uh, no Ravage. Rolling Thunder's ready. Maybe. An opportunity for Beast Ghost to mount to come back. Yeah. But they'll do it without a mid lane of barracks, and they'll do it without a uh, melee barracks top as well. Armel in position to break smokes and whisper has kind of managed to sneak in a bit here. He's under ward. Oh, they're under traps. He's gonna get too. the rolling thunder off. There's gonna be Japs just running straight in. He wants to do one thing, and right now that's disarm the Medusa. Over here is at least Whisper trying to run around in these fights, but he's actually almost died. And there's gonna be now a meld strike yeah. and perhaps a kill here. No, Singer just barely alive, but over back onto the Medusa here. Rumbuff's gonna at least assist her here just a bit as Armel doing a great job of kiting around this fight. Now there's no stone gaze here. Ravage not even available for another 35 seconds, but Jab's actually with a Satanic here. He's getting to do some damage now onto Ector K1. Gojira's eventually gonna be found out and killed. G -G. And there's the Chain Frost doing the work. GG called. Fanatic, just impeccable fights here as they will be able to dismantle Beast Ghost 2 to 0. Yeah. No, you can see how annoying that Tidehunter was, right? He literally doesn't care about anything. He just runs up to the Medusa and, yeah, keeps spamming Halberd, keeps spamming Yules, keeps Anchor smashing. It's unplayable, absolutely unplayable. Yeah, just a bit too impossible there, right? And of course, with Satanic at the end, he's able to uh, dispel himself. He's got lifesteal running the whole time. I mean, just a bit too difficult for him. And unfortunately, not a whole lot for Beast Ghost going for them this time around, right? Six to 31 on yeah. his R score line. And uh, Ector just not really able to, to get the farm.